Can anything be done to reduce or eliminate that controversial stormwater runoff fee in the Wyoming Valley? This is a problem that will soon be felt statewide as the EPA cracks down on stormwater runoff. The I-team's Annie Mahoschik traveled out to Harrisburg today to pose a simple question. Are state lawmakers listening to taxpayer concerns? He joins us live from outside the Capitol building with what they had to say. Andy? Well, Nick, the lawmakers I spoke with say they're doing whatever they can to help taxpayers all across this great commonwealth, especially those in northeastern Pennsylvania. But they admit it will not be an easy task because they're taking on the massive federal government. State lawmakers have just returned to Harrisburg, and this stormwater controversy is something they didn't anticipate dealing with. The fee is supposed to pay for stormwater control measures to reduce pollution in our waterways. But the fees being imposed are far greater than any home or business owner anticipated. State Representative Aaron Coffer is taking aim at the federal EPA mandate that forces communities or entities like the Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority to impose that fee. I'm working on a resolution trying to get it back to the federal government and say, if you want us to enforce this at the state level, which we're required to do, you need to pony up the money to actually pay for what needs to be done. Because this should not be coming back to, to the taxpayers to pay for this if it's a federal mandate. You know, is Harrisburg listening? Uh, Harrisburg is definitely listening. Representative Eddie Day Pashinsky has also reached out to Washington for a fix. We're in contact with our federal legislators asking, always asking if we can get federal dollars to help us comply with the law that they passed. Representative Jerry Knowles from Schuylkill County agrees. I am a firm believer that if you're going to mandate something, I think you should provide the funding. State Senator John Udichak believes the EPA mandate is not going away, but just possibly the financial blow to residents can be lessened. We are going to try to bring every resource that we can from the federal government, state government, and local governments to try to reduce the costs on the homeowners. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll hear quite a different perspective on the controversial stormwater runoff fee, while many people, many people call it unnecessary evil. Reporting at the State Capitol in Harrisburg, Andy Mahal, Chicago Eyewitness News. Andy, thank you. And communities that do not meet this federal mandate face heavy fines, which again would hit taxpayers in their wallets.